So speaking of Apple, the company has also been granted a patent to start working on a foldable device. There you see it on the screen of phones made from ceramic. Yeah, this is a sketch from the patent application. It shows kind of what the phone might look like with a fold down in the middle of the screen you see there. So Dan, what's the difference between a foldable phone and the old flip phones? Now, Remember your the old Motorola Razor? I love that. Everybody, yeah, had, yeah. everybody had a Motorola Razor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. I think the concept here is you could have a bigger screen that, that, that folds. It's a flexible screen that folds in half. When you open it up, it feels like one big full screen. And flexible screens are something people have been working on for a long time. There's some prototypes out there. It's not very mainstream. Uh, but there's nothing more fun than digging through Apple patent applications because you see all kinds of crazy stuff, and 90% of it is never, ever going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dan, CNET actually spoke to Apple's chief design officer, Johnny Ive, last week. It shed some new light onto what's involved in this upcoming design. What did you guys learn? Yeah, yeah. I was part of that conversation with Johnny Ive last week before Apple's new MacBook announcement. We got to talk to him. Uh, and, and he had some good good uh, uh, ideas there about how you could make something different, yes, and you think of Apple as the think different company, but that wasn't enough. He said they were only interested in doing things that were different, but that were also better, and that was a lot harder than just being different. So, Dan, I mean, I, does it feel, and you are sort of on the cutting edge of looking at all these things, does it feel to you as if we've reached the saturation point of what we can do with these phones? I mean, in other words, like, it seems like there's everything that you can ever hope or want for in a telephone, a mobile device is already done, and now we're just sort of looking at gimmicks, essentially. Yeah, we've kind of, we definitely hit a plateau in terms of what you can do with that little rectangle of glass and metal. All the smartphones kind of look the same. The biggest development in the last couple of years was they made the urges a little curvier around the side. Uh, and and that's really, that, that counts as a major breakthrough these days. <laughs> you know what I want that the Apple iPhone hasn't done? What? I want it to be able to tell me when I pass by my refrigerator, these are the things on your shopping list that you don't have Oh, yet. that's kind of cool. Rena. Some, some more women. Rena needs to go get another job. We're tired of grocery shopping. Topic. And be like the idea person <laughs> at Apple <laughs> or Google. <laughs> that's a, pretty, they, that's they a great idea. They that's a great me. idea. There's no way. Dan Ackerman, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.